Welcome to the R video tutorial on bar charts and art part three. This time we're going to talk about stacked and side-by-side -side bar charts. Okay, we're going to use the same set that we've been working before, which is this Michigan fish data, and we're going to read it in. Uh, it's still on the desktop, and we've been using this before, so you should be able to keep up. All right, so what we want to do is incorporate both pieces of information, species and location, before we saw how to deal with one or the other. So what we're going to do is put a table that puts both of these in on it. So let's make this a species loc table. And I'm going to use the table command again. And I'm going to put both variables in here. So fish one and species and fish one location. And this is going to create a table for me that I can look at and see how the data is organized here because it's going to be different than before. All right, so this produces an actual table with rows and columns. So what I want to do is I want to use this information to help make my picture. So let's just start with a raw bar plot, and then we'll start adding to it. So bar plot, and we're going to put in our table, spec loc table, and we're going to run it and see what it looks like. So when I run this, I get this picture, I can zoom in, and notice that I get a stacked bar chart. So each one of these is a different category, but notice there's no titles, there's no x-axis or y-axis labels, so we need to fill those in. So we're going to use the same commands as we did before. So main is the header for the entire plot, so this is going to be distribution of fish by location. And let's see, our X label is the locations here. And our Y label are the counts. All right, so let's see how this looks. I can run this, and when I zoom in on it, it actually looks pretty pretty good. A uh, couple problems is we don't know which one of these bar areas or these blocks corresponds to which fish. So we're going to need some sort of legend. So let's try to add a legend on here and put in here legend equals row names from our table. And this should give us a legend. So let's give this a go and see what it looks like. And notice that it's kind of garbagey in the sense that it tried to put our legend right over our plot. And this is actually an artifact of R Studio. If you do this in regular R, you won't actually see this problem. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to learn a little, quick little trick about exporting pictures. So I'm going to make this a PDF. So I'm going to use a PDF, I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to put it on my desktop for the moment, and I'm going to call it bar2 PDF. And when I do this, what it does is it opens a PDF, then it's going to plot this picture into the PDF, and then I need to close the PDF. So I've got to put de device.off or dev.off at the bottom to tell it to close the PDF. Now when I do this, I will not really get any response here. I just get this code down at the bottom that says it works too. So I'm going to bring up my finder window and here I'm going to go to bar 2 PDF and look it created a PDF of my stacked bar chart and over here is a legend that tells me which fish is which. And they happen to be in the exact same order as the stack, so it helps me decipher things. So, so that makes it nice. However, our studio is not very friendly with this uh, in terms of being able to look at it directly or export it. So we actually have to use our functions to export it into a PDF. Uh, and you'll notice this a lot when we do deal with the plots. All right, so let's go back and uh, change this to a side-by-side -side bar chart. So let's go and just copy what we have here. And we're going to add one other statement. So. I'm going to do beside equals true. I'm going to close this off, and I'm going to comment this out for the moment. Uh, so it doesn't run. I just want to see what this is going to produce when I run it raw. And if I zoom in, you can see now it has things next to each other grouped by each site. 
or location. So what I need to do now is, again, add a legend. So I'm just going to uncomment this. I'm going to change my uh, close parenthesis to a comma, and I'm going to run this again, and I'm probably going to have the same problem that I had before. And sure enough, it writes it right on top of the picture, which makes it unusable. But again, I can export this. So if you do get frustrated with R Studio, you can use Vanilla R, uh, and it will work, and it won't do these crazy things. So I'm going to make this bar one, and then I'm going to tell the device to turn off or basically close the picture. Okay, so let's run this here. When we do that, it doesn't really produce anything, so I actually have to go back to the desktop and then look at bar one. And if you notice here, I have the, again, the side-by-side -side, uh, bar chart, and it does have a legend on it, so it can help me determine what I'm looking at as I'm looking across here. So, th so that makes it uh, quite helpful. So we can do this, we just have to be careful when we do it because of how uh, Studio is behaving. All right, so the other thing you might want to do is add some colors to this. And colors are pretty easy to add as well. Um, let's do it on the top one, just for simpleness. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a vector of colors, and each color is going to be the color of each of the type of fish in our list. So just keep that in mind. So I might wanna do black and then do red. I'm just gonna mix up colors, trying to make it kind of ugly. Blue and then green. And well, I have to be careful here because I need this vector to be exactly the same number as the number of fish that we have or uh, so that everything works out. So I need to kind of scroll up here and count to see exactly how many fish I actually have. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right now I have four colors. I'm going to keep going. A green, how about orange? Four, five, and I'm going to need two more. And let's say, suppose I want yellow, even though yellow doesn't show up very well in lots. And for let's do pink and we'll see what this looks like when it spits out and then i need to close off my um vector here of colors so let's just run this real quick it's gonna you know puke at us but notice that it did add some colors to it i'm going to export this again so that we can look at it at its pdf format which is probably the one you actually want to use. So I'm going to go back to my finder, I'm going to go to bar two, and look, it created all of these uh, in the colors that I told it to, in the order. And if you notice, it's kind of hideous looking. Uh, and that was the idea, is you get to play with these colors and, and change the colors. But it does give you the facility to do this, where you have a labels, you have the colors, you have a legend, and this is a publication quality plot, other than my hideous colors. All right, so we've figured out how to add colors and make a side-by-side -side version as well as a stacked version of a bar chart or a bar plot. Okay, so now we can move on to the next video.